Next, let's talk about your mindset. Honestly, is network marketing your primary or your secondary focus in life? And if it's secondary, can you expect to succeed if it stays secondary? Be honest. In my opinion, it cannot. You cannot expect to have massive success if this is something you do in between the other stuff that you're focused on. If I'm working with you, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be, I'm, I will be the blinders holding them up next to your face and saying, no, 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 here's your dream. No, 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 remember? No, 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 this is where you said you wanted to go. Oh, yes, 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 because you're going to go, oh, look, a bird. Oh, look, drama at the work. No, 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 come on, let's go. What's your mindset? Are you thinking like an employee? You're thinking like an entrepreneur. Now, here's the question for your notes. What can you do between now and a year from now to improve your mindset? Who can you get around? What coaching can you engage in? What mentors can you access? What books do you need to read? What programs do you need to listen to? What events do you need to attend? What, what needs to happen for a breakthrough? How can you learn, number one? Got it? Number two, can you expect to learn at a rapid pace if you're surrounded by people who are constantly trying to pull you down? You can't. You have to weed the garden of your life. It's a hard decision, but it's an important one. How many movies do we need to see where the hero has every chance for success, but there's the person in their life that is robbing them of every opportunity for the future, and we're almost yelling at the screen saying, just get away from that person because you can't win if you stay with that person. And yet we won't turn that lens on ourselves. If somebody looked at the screen of your life, they could very quickly determine the reasons why and the people that are causing you to play small. You need to weed the garden. You need to spend lot less time with people who are not pushing you in the direction of your dream. And then you need to invest every minute you possibly can with people who will not allow you to play small for people who will be your friend in the business, people who will be your coach or your mentor in the business, people who will push you. People who say, no, 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 no. 10 push-ups. No, 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 no. Remember your goal, your big mouth, big shot goal that you set at GoPro Recruiting Mastery? <laughs> that wasn't a fairy tale. That was for real. There's nothing stopping you from doing it but you. You need people in your life that'll say that, have the courage to say that to your face and then won't back away when you say, hey, mind your own business. That's what you need in your life. You need people who will not let you hide from the world because that's what people do. They hide from the world. And guess what? Saddest thing in the world for me is seeing you here ready, excited, ready to take on the world, and then you go home and life starts to do its thing. It gets in the way. And pretty soon you snap your fingers and a year's gone by. Just like that, bam, gone. I don't want to see you lose that. So you need to weed the garden and you need to fill the garden with people and processes that are going to push you in the direction of your dreams because your dreams are worth it. You're worth it. If you're going to play big, surround yourself with people who are going to do it. Clear the decks of all the distractions that have maybe helped you create your identity, but they haven't served you. Let somebody else mow the lawn. Let somebody else wash the floors. Let somebody else do the things that you've been filling up your little to-do list. You know what robs people of more success than anything else? Their little to-do lists. I should do this and this and this and this and this. And that list 
never goes away and their dreams never become reality. Clear the decks. Decide to go. Create a support system around you. Make the investment to have things taken care of for you and then fill those, get that gap with the activity that you know that you're afraid of but that you know will get you the results if you do it long enough. That's where you need to stay.